let's grab it here. So we have a little look at um, serial and parallel connected capacitors and inductors. So let's get into it. So now we've connected two um, capacitors in um, series, and there's usually multiple, the more, uh, I wouldn't say advanced, but um, a little bit better multimeters, they actually have the option to be able to measure the capacitance, so we're going to cheat this time, we're going to actually um, try and measure it. And these are 1000 microfarad um, capacitors. So let's see what happens when you measure it. So, so you get 492 farads. Hmm, interesting. So when you series connect capacitors, then they actually act as if they were parallel connected resistors. So let's put the capacitors in parallel and see see what measurement we get. And since they're 1,000 microfarads, the um, measurement time can be a bit long. So you need to be patient. Oh, oops, that didn't work out too well. Hmm, I wonder what's wrong. Ah, polarity. It's the wrong way around. Well, that's why you get very strange readings. So you have to actually watch out on the capacitors you're going to measure or connect in parallel or series for that matter. That you actually do get the polarity correct, or otherwise you're not going to get the capacitance here you think you are going to get. So, let's try again. And again, it takes a while. So, there we are, 2016 power, so that's more like expected. So, hmm, that's interesting. So, I want to connect capacitors in um, power level and actually work like resistors in series. I've included the formulas in the comments. So, here we have um, two inductances in um, series, and we should um, measure... Oh, uh, that's going to be a bit of a problem. Now, the problem is that usually meters you have generally available, you can't actually measure inductance. And um, another problem that might come up is that you have an inductance, but then the, you can't discern the markings even with the help of the um, broad internet. So, and um, when you parallel connect or series connect in the dances, the other issue is that tolerances can get in, in the way, because these have much larger tolerances. So, um, uh, when you, uh, you... You don't actually know what, very easily what, what specific inductance you're going to end up with. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show how you measure um, if you have an oscilloscope available and a frequency generator, how you can determine the um, inductance you have, independent of its parallel or, or um, um, series connected. I will include the formulas for calculating the theoretical um, inductance of parallel connected and series connected um, inductances in the comments. But um, let's go over the measurement. So, in this method to resolve what 
unknown inductance one has then we can actually make a pretty simple circuit one has a, a known resistor in series with the inductance and you can actually vary the size of this resistor here and that and then you have a <coughs> frequency generator that you can put sinus wave through the circuit and um, the objective would be is to by resize, you know, trying different frequencies and possibly resizing the resistor to um, get the voltage over the inductance to be exactly half that of what's over the total circuit. And here you can see that it's dropped to half. And then basically what you can say is that the impedance of the resistance is the equivalent to the impedance of the inductance. So basically what happens is you know the um, inductance of the of the inductor and then you can just use the um, inductance formula to calculate the, um, uh, the what um, inductance um, value you need to have to get to that impedance. I'll put, I have the um, formulas breakdown in the um, comments and of course this circuit will work if you connect um, inductances in parallel or in serial it doesn't matter so you just connect them up how you want them and then you can actually do this um, measurement and it's actually good to do because these can have quite large tolerances like plus minus 15 percent or something so so i hope you found uh, this this informative please consider subscribing yeah hit the like button uh, merch is available um, if you'd like to buy me a cup of coffee, um, the link's also available for that. And um, I'll see you in the next one.